Have you ever wondered which animal has the best pickup line? <clears throat> hey, how much does a polar bear weigh? I don't know either, but I think it's enough to break the ice. I'm Patrick. How you doing? For animals across the world, chatting up a mate isn't easy. They can't hide behind layers of makeup or slap on the latest hair product. They have to do it the hard way, serenading their partners with charming harmonies and choral notes. It's the same whether you're trying to seduce a squirrel or woo a walrus. But which creature has the very best pickup line? American alligators say their sweet nothing in a deep, seductive tone. The males bellow loudly to attract a mate, a bit like a bird. But they do it in such a deep tone that much of the sound is outside of our hearing range. But they don't just produce a guttural belch. These gators have got talent. They create what is termed the water dance. By lifting their head and tail above the water, they're keeping their back slightly submerged. Their vibrating bodies use the water to dance. Scientists believe that these vibrations create what are known as Faraday waves, a very special set of energy waves that are really good at traveling distances. In fact, people who have stood close enough say they can feel the vibrations in their legs. Imagine that, having such a seductive way with words that you make your partner's legs tremble. I've got a lot to learn. I'm a lion. I'm an alpha male lion. While a bit of chemistry goes a long way to kickstart a relationship, it's physics that helps some species of tree frog to find a mate. The male Bornean treehole frog has worked out how to harness the power of its environment. As their name suggests, these frogs can be found in Borneo, in tree holes. And by tuning their call to the exact resonant frequency of the hole, they're able to amplify their sweet sounding song, making it travel further and seem more attractive to a lady frog. It's a bit like chatting up a girl with a megaphone. Hey, it's hunting season, baby. And a fox like you shouldn't be out in the open. But the lesser water boatman can sing far louder and without the aid of an amplifier. These tiny little insects are found in garden ponds across Europe. And despite their diminutive size, they're capable of singing at 100 decibels. Now that's loud enough to cause serious hearing damage if we're exposed to it for long periods of time. They produce their love song by rubbing their penis against their abdomen. Sounds pretty weird, but I guess it works. Many insects keep their voices down to avoid being preyed upon, but the lesser water boatman seems to lack these auditory predators. As a result, for their size, these creatures are the loudest on Earth. But a good chat-up line isn't all about being noisy, it's about the content. And the superb lyrebird has plenty of that. Native to Australia, these magnificent birds produce some of the most complex songs in the natural world. They have a huge vocal repertoire and are able to copy the songs of other birds, mimicking their pickup lines. But to show off and get the girl, these birds often incorporate many man-made sounds. Just imagine what this bird would sound like if it lived in the inner city. Taxi! This is how we do it. So there's a huge variety of ways to chat up a mate and plenty of inspiration for us as well. We'll see you next time on Zulala. <laughs> Sex is a big part of life, and some animals are so desperate for a bit of action, they're willing to pay for it. But make no mistake, such passionate liaisons are not ordinary acts of prostitution. There's a great deal of negotiation involved, and some males even end up paying with their life. <laughs> <laughs>